What do you call those things? Superbloodflowermoon.com. <laughs> Jackrabbit <laughs> moon. Dot com. What, what kind of moon is this? It's a super moon and it's <laughs> a lunar help. eclipse. Lunar combining. super moon. Okay. So it's a, it's a two, four, one. <laughs> Yes, yes. That way it's, Got a, it. it's a little simpler. I wish simpler. I would have bought the domain. It's a little simpler. <laughs> also, you set your alarm for 4 11 a.m., and you'll see it. It'll be about 15 minutes between about 4 11 4 23. That's going to be sort of prime time. So that's all you need to know. There we go. <laughs> I know. It's, it's a little complicated. That is for sure. As we get a look at Santa Monica tonight, we can't see the moon in this shot, but we are certainly looking at very mild conditions, a little bit of low cloud cover that could get in the way of the moon. And you know what? Because Jeff just inquired, we are going to put this graphic back up right here and remind you what's going on tonight. Are you ready? Repeat after me. Say this three times. Okay. The full super blood flower moon eclipse. The full super blood flower moon eclipse. <laughs> Correct. Yes. Just the one time. Full super blood flower moon eclipse. You That thing I'm going to sleep through you're talking about? Yep. <laughs> And the full super blood flower moon eclipse. Um, I might be asking my Alexa to wake me up. My husband's not going to be happy about it, but I'm just kind of excited. I think a lot of us are. Totality again between 411 and 426. As we get a look at satellite radar, here it is. A little bit of cloud cover, high cloud cover, low cloud cover coming into the mix tomorrow. And temperatures cooling down. We're already milder this evening with 60s and 70s. 70 for Woodland Hills, 62 for downtown, and 64 for Long Beach. And wind speeds right now in the single digits with the exception of Burbank and Palm Springs in the double digits. 85 earlier today in downtown. A satellite and radar tracker, you will see a little bit of cloud cover moving in, and then a little bit of cloud cover moving out by the afternoon hours. We could possibly see a little bit of drizzle show up too by tomorrow night into our Thursday morning. So the low cloud cover bringing temperatures down a little bit, bringing the possibility of drizzle into the mix as well, and temperatures bottoming out by the time we hit the weekend for the beaches, the basin, and the valleys. As we check out the IE, the high desert, and the mountains, we are also expecting temperatures to get slightly cooler and continuing to cool into the weekend, bottoming out by Sunday and then warming up a touch by our Memorial Day on Monday. It is going to be nice and warm and by Tuesday even warmer with 70s and 90s in the mix. There we have it. All right, set those alarms, 4 a.m. Jeff. <laughs> Well, you. you know, just like sports, I'll wait for the highlights. <laughs> I'll wait for the video. There you go. <laughs> Perfect.